There's been a lot of discussion about these specialty applicators for coronavirus sample collection. So what I decided to do was make a short video to explain about this specialty applicator and also explain about other options that are available for sample collection for coronavirus. Uh, CDC and FDA have worked tirelessly to try to expand the number of co uh, sample collection options that are available to healthcare providers. Hi, I'm Norman Sharples. I'm uh, CEO of Copan Diagnostics. Uh, Copan Diagnostics is the US subsidiary of Copan, a company which you may hear a lot of uh, recently. We're the manufacturers of collection and transport systems for coronavirus or COVID-19. Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit today about the different types of, of collection systems that uh, Copan is providing for this coronavirus pandemic. So let's start with a little bit of anatomy. Okay, so let me just take my little, my little prop here, my little naso head guy. Um, and I want to explain a little bit about the sampling that has been done for COVID-19. Okay, so you, you've probably seen in the news this week uh, a lot of people sampling from a place called the nasopharynx, the nasopharynx. Well, this is an area right at the back of the nasal passages at the point where the, the nasal passages meet the top of the throat. This is the nasopharynx around, around this area, okay? And in, this seems to be the preferred sample type uh, which CDC and FDA are recommending for diagnosing COVID-19 the nasopharynx. So we need a nasopharyngeal sample, okay? And as you, and as you can imagine, uh, this is a very narrow channel here to reach the nasopharynx. That's why we use this little specialty applicator, which we call, this is the nasopharyngeal applicator, right? Um, this applicator is uh, called a flocked uh, nasopharyngeal swab, a flock swab, and uh, the fiber on the end is actually nylon. So it's flocked with nylon, so little nylon fibers, right? So what, we, what the, uh, the healthcare worker does with this is they insert this little applicator in through the, nas on through, in through the nose and slide it along the little passageway here all the way to the, to the back of this, this area called the nasopharynx, right? They leave it in there for maybe turn it once or twice, uh, pull out the applicator, okay? And then they break off the applicator into a tube of viral transport media. And this is typically what it looks like. You have a tube that looks like this. This is called UTM, Universal Viral Transport Media, UTM. And uh, the healthcare professional then will take the swab with your sample. They'll break it off at the little pink line into this tube of transport media like this. And the sample then it loots off into the uh, preservation media, and it's this sample which the lab then will work up for coronavirus. Okay, so uh, the preferred sampling site for coronavirus is the nasopharynx. And of course, we talked about the, uh, the unique nasopharyngeal swab, uh, which is the ideal tool and is the right the ideal dimension to reach right at the back of the nasal passages to the nasopharynx. As you can imagine, this device is under uh, great demand and uh, for, the, for sampling from the nasopharynx. So many uh, assay developers uh, and CDC and FDA have qualified other sampling sites, other anatomical sites, which can be used for collecting samples and testing samples for coronavirus. And they include uh, the nares, which is the entrance to the nose, has been qualified as a suitable sampling site and also the oropharynx, which is the throat. Um, now, for sampling both the nares and the oropharynx, you can use different types of applicators. Um, and the uh, applicators which have been qualified for use are a flock swab, which is, a, again, a big version of the nasopharyngeal swab. This allows you to sample from the nares, which is the entrance here, entrance to the nose, right? Sample from the nares. So you can use a flocked applicator, you can use a foam applicator for sampling this area, as you can see. And you can use uh, spun fiber swabs, and this is a spun polyester swab, which again can be used to sample the nares. Or in some cases, with some assays, you can also use a spun rayon applicator. So 
Now with this sampling uh, site, together with the oropharynx sampling site, this opens the doorway to many other types of swab tools, uh, flocked applicators, foam applicators, spun polyester and spun rayon, these other sampling tools for collection of samples for coronavirus. Let me tell you about another site that's been qualified for coronavirus diagnostics, and that is a, the site called the mid-turbinate. Now, the mid-turbinate is this area of the nasal passages that's kind of halfway between the entrance of the nose and the nasopharynx. This is called the mid-turbinate. And uh, samples can be taken from this site by a healthcare professional on site, or they can be taken by uh, self-collected. Uh, um, but you, in, order to, in order to do that, you need to have this tapered flock swab that looks like this. It makes it very intuitive. And you insert this little tapered flock swab into the, in, through the nose to about halfway along the nasal passenger here. And, there's a, and you rotate like this a little bit, take it out, and then you take your sample. You see this little stopper on the uh, applicator handle, which uh, guides you to the correct distance and takes you into the mid-turbinate region. Uh, when you've taken the sample, you simply break the applicator off into viral transport media and send this to the laboratory. So we talked about a number of different applicators uh, during this uh, brief talk. We talked about the nasopharyngeal flocked applicator uh, for the nasopharyngeal sample. We talked about various applicators for nasal and for oropharyngeal sampling, and they include flocked applicator, foam applicator, polyester spun fiber, and rayon spun fiber for nasal and oropharyngeal sampling. And then finally, we talked about this tapered flocked applicator, which has been indicated for use uh, to take mid turbinate samples for coronavirus. So there's a variety of different tools and applicators available uh, and made from different materials.